I've been asked to put together a video on how to insert a question onto a book page. It's not the easiest thing to understand, so here is a video explaining it. First up, before I start, this is specific to adding a question to a book page, which is not the same as creating a quiz element. I've got a blog post over on enablenowexpert.com explaining how to set up a template for a quiz, um, and that's a little bit easier, but for now, this is just how to insert a question onto a book page. Typical example on when you'd want to do that is as part of a knowledge check during a course where you've got a book that's got all of the book pages for that course, and every so often you want to throw in a knowledge check just to check that they know what they're doing. So that's what I'm going to do here. I've got a book page here. The title of the book page is knowledge check, so that's been pulled in here on a placeholder from my template, but everything else here is completely blank. So that's what we're going to start from. So first thing, I'm going to add my question to this book page. That's over here on this button, and you can see that there's 10 different types of questions I can answer. They all have their own different properties and things you can do with them, but for this example, I'm just going to use a multiple choice. It's not really gonna matter what type of question we're using, but I'll use this as an example. So I've inserted my multiple choice question. And you can see that that only really has placeholders for the answers. If I look at the properties down here for multiple choice, I can see I've got answer one, two, three, four, and an indicator on whether that's the correct answer or not. There's more answers, there's other options, but that's it. I don't even have the actual question in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna add that question. And I'm just gonna add that as a text box here. I'm gonna put that up at the top and I'm gonna call this text box task, just so we can differentiate it from the actual question object. So I can put in here the, the text of my question, for example. So I now have my question on my book page. And then I've got my actual question itself, which I will rename to question. just for clarity. And by default, it's got three options in there. I can add as many as I like, but let me just add my choices in here. Again, this is a multiple choice question. So, and then I need to select which one of those is the correct answer, which of course is the Enable Now Expert. So now I have my question in here, actually my task and my question. Um, but what can I do with that? How do I say I've answered it? How do I indicate it's correct how, or incorrect or anything else? So a question object like this one here, this multiple choice object has a number of unique properties. Like I say, there's all the answer ones and there's points and things like that in here. But key to all of this, way down under actions are a number of distinct events that can happen for this question object. And they are on ready, which is the user has entered their answer, but has not yet submitted it for checking. On not ready, which is the user has not even tried that question yet. On correct answer, which is obvious. On wrong answer, which is obvious. And then on skip, which is if they try to leave this page without answering the question. So we'll look at the first four of these for the most part. The on ready, when the user is ready, has made their choice and they are ready to submit that choice for checking, that's when the on ready event is triggered. So what I want to do is I need to give them a button that they can click on to submit their answer. And then we'll attach that to the on ready event. So I'm going to insert a simple shape in here to use as a button. Let me just put it down here somewhere. And I'm going to call that submit and that's going to have a text on it of submit as well. Okay, so that's my submit button that the user is going to click on when they are ready to submit their, their answer. Okay, so now what we can do is if I go back to my events for this particular question, the on ready, I can show that button and I'm not gonna show it before then. So I'm gonna have the submit button and I'm gonna show that, which means I'm normally going to hide it. 
So once a user has made a selection, it will show this button for submit. Okay, now what's that submit button going to do? This is the second half of what's tricky with all of this. The submit actually has an action that it triggers on the question. So when they click the submit button, what's going to happen? For my question, I am going to check it. I'm going to check the results. Okay, this is a special action that only exists for questions. So this is going to check my answer in here as soon as I click on it. So far, so good. Now, what do I want to happen when the user gets the right answer versus when they get the wrong answer? If they get the wrong answer, I want to basically say, hey, no, that's wrong, try again. So I'll start by just adding another button in here. I'm going to put it up here so we can see it. I'll unhide it for now. I'm going to call this one try again. And I'm going to give it the same text on the button. And this is the one that they're going to click on if they get it wrong. So just to emphasize that point, I'm going to make it nice and red and bright so they know they've done something wrong. Okay, and I'm going to need to change the text as well to also show out now. Okay, so try again. So if they get the question wrong, I want them to show I want to show them the try again button. Okay? So when they click on try again, I want to reset that question. So there's a reset action as well. So I'll reset the question so they can try again. And I'm going to have to come back and do some other things in here, but the other thing that I want to do while I think about it is under the actual question on wrong answer is when I want to show uh, this try again button. Okay. And the last thing I want to do is on the correct answer, I want them to be able to go on to the next page. So I'm going to add another button. And this one I am just going to call correct, uh, sorry, next, because they're going to go on to the next page. And because they're correct, we'll make everything on here green. So I'm going to have a nice green text. I'm going to have a nice green border to it and a light green background. OK, and that gives me that button as well. Now, that button I want to be displayed when they get the correct answer. Actually, I should show these, not animate them in. OK, um, now what's going to happen when they click the next button is they're going to go to the next page. That I can't do on a action on here. I need to use a special thing in here. And that is the link property. Because what I want to link to is an action of the next book page. OK, so as soon as they click next, it will go on to the next book page. So that's a link as opposed to an action, because there is no action that I can trigger on the page to say go to the next page. OK, so far, so good. There are other things that we need to do on here. For example, I only want one of these buttons at a time to be displayed. So that means for the submit button, once they've clicked on the submit button, I also want to hide the submit button again. OK, so in here I'm going to take submit and I'm going to hide that. And the same thing when they click try again, I am going to want to hide that button. OK, and the next button I don't really care. And that should largely be that. Oh, sorry, I need to hide all of my buttons. So I'm going to preview. I've got my question. What's your favorite source of information on SAP Enable Now? So I've got my question in here. What's your favorite source of information on SAP Enable Now? And if I select Info Center, see there's no button displayed so far. I select Info Center. I've now got my submit button. I can click on that. That's wrong. So it asks me to try again. And if I click try again, it hides that button and it, it removes my answer. And when I choose the correct answer, which is the Enable Now Expert, Submit, now I've got my next button to continue. And that's pretty much it. That is now fully functioning. What I would say is I probably would want to put all of these on top of each other, which I can do via this, left align on all of them, top align on all of them, drag them down to where I want them to be. 
I would also probably want to add something more than just this button going red or green. Maybe add in a graphic in here or a check mark or a cross or just some text saying correct or incorrect and trigger those exactly the same way that I've triggered these. Or you can trigger them that when, for example, the next button is displayed, you're also going to display a text saying correct. But again, as far as the mechanics go, this is it. And it's, it seems a bit odd because you have to go um, on various events between different objects, but it's not actually too bad. You just need to remember, insert your question object, add your actual task question text. And then on your question object, you've got to use your actions of on ready, maybe on not ready, which is used the first time it's displayed and whenever you reset it. So you might want to do some things on there to clean up or show other things. On correct answer, on wrong answer. But the key to all of this really is actually on my submit button because this is the one that has the action of on click that does my check here. It checks the question. And again, the other property that I need to worry about here is the reset one as well, which will reset it so that they can try again. And that's it. So not too complicated. And regardless of which type of question you put on here, those mechanics of how those objects interact are exactly the same. However, I would say that in general, doing this every time you want to insert a question is kind of painful. And there are, you know, it's easy to get things wrong or miss a step. So what I would suggest is you create a book page, not a book page template for each question type that has all of this stuff on it already. So all you need to do is come into here, enter your actual answers, and then you're good to go. And further on from that, what I would suggest is that all of your buttons and a placeholder for the question and all of this area, basically, including any other text or graphics that you have displayed when they get the right answer, the wrong answer, etc. All of that stuff, put that into a book page template. And then each of your book page question pages, based on that template, add the question object, connect everything up, and then you'll find it much easier to create these things as you go along. And that was it. But again, very nice bit of functionality here. And once you understand how it's working and how to trigger the different actions and events, it's fairly straightforward. Thanks for watching.